Did you know your bottom metal is not what actually holds your magazine and your rifle? Hey, it's Jason McCann from Mountain Tactical Company. Today we're gonna do a deep dive in how the Tika T3 and T3X bottom metal works. Let's dive into this. So to demonstrate this, what we did was we took a factory stock and we cut it away so you could actually see what was going on inside the, the action and the stock when you put your magazine in. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some close up views so you can see exactly what the magazine's doing when you put it inside the bottom of it. So when you're installing the magazine into the rifle, you'll notice that at the very bottom here, there is just a ton of play wiggling around. And that's because the bottom metal is designed to not actually come into contact with the magazine. And then as you put the magazine further into the rifle, notice the mag retention springs start to push the magazine forward. And then as you bring the front up, the mag catch clicks. So the only point of contact in the system right now is the mag catch when it clicks and the front of the magazine pushing up against the mag well on the action. So as you can see here, you can actually see through the bottom metal underneath here. There is zero contact with the magazine and the bottom metal. All the contact is between the magazine retention spring and the magazine. The bottom metal is actually not touching the magazine at all. So the critical dimension that we're looking at to make sure that your mag catch works is the distance between the bottom of the action and where the mag catch is in your bottom metal. And as you can see here, the magazine actually sits in the bottom of the action and the mag catch grabs that little shelf on the front of the magazine. So there cannot be more than 40 thousandths distance between the action and the top of the magazine. That is a critical dimension right there. So if you put your magazine into your rifle system and your mag catch is not grabbing the magazine, then what that means is your bottom metal is sitting too close to the action and that mag catch is not able to grab that magazine. Now the common causes of this is either you've over torqued your bottom metal or the stock you're putting your bottom metal into is inlet incorrectly. And so this is a critical dimension to make sure that your magazine functions correctly. Hopefully this gives you a better understanding on how your bottom metal works so you can confidently upgrade your rifle system and go get some trigger time.